What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Come on in. Thank you so much for tuning in to A Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A Nicole, and I am here to deliver another general reading for my collective booze. So please come on in. I want to remind you all that this is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one. -one, so only take what resonates. Don't try to make anything um, fit. If you want to schedule a personal reading with me, I will leave that information in my information below or my description below. As well as how to connect with me off of here. Please be aware of scammers out there. Okay? And this is also my only... Um, youtube channel okay if you want to join my online membership if you want to listen to my podcast hit up my self-care and skincare um brand i also leave that information below okay as well as my social media so i've already cleansed the space i've already got us prepared and ready so we are ready to rock okay remember to only take what resonates and please Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. All right. So let's see. What do we have for our collective blue spirit? Mm. The sun card. I think this came out in another reading. Okay. The sun. You all have some sort of a new beginning. A new beginning in happiness. The, the sun is really shining on some sort of a fresh start for you. Ooh financial constraints okay this may be with 13 13 talks about death destruction some of you all um may have had like um some financial constraints money may have been tight you know um you may have cut back on your hours you know or something just constraining you bills came up something came up where your money was just you know tight and then you have strategy okay hmm that talks about planning, strategizing, you know, starting to put pen to pad and get the ball rolling when it comes to what you want, a goal. And then you have happy family, a happy ending. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay. I think this is our sacral chakra. Yeah. So this talks about creativity. And also sexual energy. You may have ended something. 36 breaks down to 9. You may have ended something with a lover or something like that. But yeah, you're, you all sacral chakra is lit up. That orange energy. You know, it's time to do some sort of creating, especially with the strategy card. It's time to put that pedal to the metal. Do some manifestation. Do some intention setting. Do some planning. Hmm. Let's clarify. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify? Let's talk about the sun, please. Tell me more about this sun energy. Leo could be prominent. Tell me more about this sun energy. But this is a fresh new start. Okay. The emperor and the justice. Yeah, the scales are tipping in your favor, baby, with this justice card. You know, this talks about good karma, cause and effect, scales balancing for you. Okay, the justice card is also Libra energy, but things are really balancing for you. The sun is coming out and shining in your favor. You know, something just, you're on the right side of justice. You're on the right side of karma. Okay, and then the emperor, here's Aries energy. This talks about you taking charge, taking authority, you know. Going after what you want. Going after your dreams. You know, embracing this fiery new start. And matching its energy, my love. Anything else for sun, spirit? Do we have anything else for sun? Mm -hmm. One second. We have anything else for sun? Mm. They like, uh, yes, we do. Okay. Oh, this is a lot, y'all. Hi, mm, Empress, Four Cups, Fisher Cups, Judgment. Yeah, Queen of Coins here. This is Queen of Pentacles energy. 
earth energy taurus virgo capricorn you could be this earth placement or you could just be a queen of pentacles you know you got it going on you 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 doing your thing then we have true love here which is the lovers you know some sort of union some sort of relationship eight of cups you may have walked away from this you may have removed your energy your feelings from this you know emotionally withdrawn from this and then we have the empress a lot of you may have realized some things realized your worth realized your value realized that this person or this energy wasn't treating you right wasn't it wasn't a very venusian type of experience so that's what made you get the fuck on you know four of cups could have been unrequited love or something like that page of cups hmm and judgment. I feel like some of you all got some sort of a wake-up call with this judgment in this page of cups. Some of you may have had some sort of intuitive download about this union. And that's what made you get the fuck on. If you could have found out that this was unrequited. Hmm. But I feel like a lot of you all are standing your ground with that emperor energy. Especially when it comes to some sort of relationship. Some sort of union. And that is what's going to help your sunny days. That's what's going to bring the sun out. Because whatever this was that you emotionally withdrawn from, you know, it, it took away from your happiness. It took away from the sun shining on you at the maximum. Hmm. True love, Gemini energy. So we have Libra. Page of Cups, that's water energy. Um... What is that? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then the Emperor here is um, Aries, Queen of Coins, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, I think about everybody's on this bitch. Empress, uh, Taurus, uh, Libra, Virgo. I said true love was the lovers, which is Gemini. So, yeah. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're being propelled forward. Spirit is putting you into action. Some of you may even be feeling more energetic more passionate about something you all have incoming communication coming in fast the eight of wands talks about fast movement you know look at that potion you know whatever it is you're cooking up whatever it is you're conjuring whatever it is you're you're manifesting i feel like that's also why this strategy card is here because soon as you put that pen to the pad baby we're going and you're going to go far. Now, let's get to this financial constraints because what's going on? Okay. Tell me more about financial constraints, spirit. What's going on with the collective and financial constraints? Okay. Eight of Swords is the first card. So, some of you could have been feeling trapped, especially financially. And you guys could have some sort of anxiety being your head as far as money goes some anxiety over your money with this eight of um swords some of you all's money may be tight that you can't move like you want to you can't make the decisions that you want to make hmm. the hermit this is virgo energy and wow the nine of coins wow and i feel like in this being next to this strategy if you all would take that time to strategize and get in that hermit energy, get into your bag, get into that Virgo energy because the hermit is a Virgo card. And you already know the thing about Virgos, Mamba mentality, you know, Beyonce mentality, working hard. You know, I see it, I want it, I stunt yellow bone it. I dream it, I work hard, I grind till I'm on it. That's what that this transit is into this nine of coins because the nine of coins, look at all that, all of that, that them coins coming down. This talks about being self-sufficient. This talks about financial independence. Okay? This talks about prosperity. Hmm. A lot of you all feel financially stuck right now. You have a lot of anxiety about it. Or you could just have a lot of anxiety about money. And spirit is like, baby, you good. You're good. Especially, I, I don't know, I'm picking up on earth with this. Where the, uh, the hermit is here with Virgo. But yeah, something about you all going into hermit mode and really strategizing, really grinding, really hustling. Hmm. You want to come out on the other side, a different person. Tell me more, spirit. Page of Swords, yep. Page of Swords talks about news. 
okay page of swords also talks about new ideas is next to this strategy new ideas new intellect new downloads new thoughts a lot of you all have thoughts a lot of you all have ideas it's time to motherfucking put that shit to pad it's time to start creating those steps to bring it to fruition with this page of swords it's time to get that news out there get that idea out there mm. Mm. now i'm not spirit mm -mm. nine of cups in reverse and the eight of coins in reverse yeah a lot of you all have been feeling unfulfilled and unsatisfied with your life with this nine of cups in reverse you know, a lot of you all have been dissatisfied with your life and then the eight of coins in reverse because you all have not been putting the fucking work in with the eight of coins in reverse. You guys have not been strategizing. You guys have not been planning. You guys have not been foolproofing your shit. It's time to strategize. It's time to come out. Seven of swords. Wow. It's time to face the truth about something too. Seven of swords in reverse talks about the truth no longer skating by no longer getting away you know and i feel like what you're trying to get away from is your purpose what you were sent here for the hard work the planning the structuring this is your discipline year my love watch your money take off when you get disciplined watch your money take off when you get structured watch your money take off when you plan when you start putting them 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 dreams to pen the high priest is wow Wow, I want to make sure I know other cards behind it, okay. The high priestess, a lot of you all know this already. You know this. If you sat here while I was talking, it was like, I know, I know. This bud's for you, baby. The high priestess, Virgo Pisces energy. The high priestess is very intuitive, very knowing. Okay, she's a priestess. You know? The high priestess is, is, is a dreamer. You know? The high priestess doesn't take her intuition for granted, doesn't take her thoughts for granted, her downloads for granted, because she understands or he understands you could be a high priest, that that is, baby, that's your, that's your covering. That's your birthright. Okay? It's time for you all, especially if you've been receiving downloads, spirit been whooping your ass and with them dreams you've been having and shit like that, you could be thinking shit very vividly. Yes. Now it's time to strategize. Some of you all, I'm, I'm hearing a story. Some of you all need to write a book, write a script, do something creative, something with pen to pad. And also some of you need to journal. Some of you need to start journaling. Hmm. Do we have anything else for our strategy? Okay. I do not like how these cards shuffle. The fool and the moon. Wow. New journey, new beginning, fresh start, taking a leap, trusting yourself, not bringing any baggage with you, taking a new leap into a new beginning in the moon, trusting what's out there. The moon card talks about things that are hidden, things that you can't see, you know, being optimistic, even though you can't see the future, taking that leap, okay? And part of taking that leap and trusting yourself is you have a strategy. You have a plan. And that makes you more confident. Okay? That makes you more apt to change. Hmm. Happy family. You're going to get your rainbow, my love. Tell me more about happy family. Seven of Wands, Ace of Coins. So Seven of Wands, so this talks about protecting, standing your ground, standing on business. Ace of Coins, new opportunities. Okay? N new abundance. Hmm. And King of Cups, water energy. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Cups, Ace of Coins. Hmm. Somebody could be wanting to come into your life and offer you some sort of a happy family. This could be an earth sign. This could also be someone who you may have dealt with, you may have blocked. Seven of Wands. 
This could also mean you could have your guard up against this person. You could not trust this person from for all that you've been through because rainbows, I'm looking at the rainbow on this card. Rainbows come after storms, after rain. And this is a four card, which talks about structure, family, foundation. This could be someone from your family, a family member, could be a male family member, earth sign, or you could be the, the earth sign. The devil Capricorn energy. Yes, yeah, some this is I feel like this is energy that you may be familiar with because the devil talks about temptation, obsession, toxicity, toxic patterns, toxic connections. And this seven of wands here talks about protection. So this could be someone someone toxic, someone obsessed with you, uh, 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 a connection not good for you that you could be either protected from or protecting yourself from. But this person wants to come in and they want a new opportunity with you, a fresh start and a happy family. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. What else about this happy family? Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and, and give you Russian and give you some sort of a love offer. This person could want to start a family with you or a family could be prominent. Knight of Cups, yeah, Knight of Shining Armor coming in about some love offering. Mm -hmm. A real Gaston. Let's see. Anything else? Mm. Page of Coins. Six of Coins. Seven of Cups. Mm. Seven of Cups talks about decisions. You're going to have to make a choice about this. Six of coins. Is this person reciprocating this time? Is there equal give and take this time? Is there an equal, uh, you know, uh, change over this time? Are the scales balanced this time when it comes to abundance, when it comes to prosperity, when it comes to what you're giving and what you're receiving? Page of coins. Really, really, really take a look at this offer. Whoever this is trying to rush in. And, you know, be this happy family with you or be this one big happy with you. Really, really, really do a valuation of what they're offering you. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Let me go one more. Anything else? Strength. Wow. The strength card talks about courage, tenacity. Leo energy could also be um, prominent. Hmm. But I feel like also with this strength card and this happy family, I feel like a lot of you all are being led to like heal your inner child because the a strength card and Leo is also about the inner child. Leo is the child. You know, that's you. Okay. Some of you all have been working on your inner child, healing your inner child. For a lot of you, you'll be able to pick better relationships and pick better people in your life once you heal your inner child. Okay? Because everywhere you go, there they are with you. You know? So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. I hope these messages have brought you some clarity, closure, comfort, whatever it was you were looking for. I hope you found it here and then some. I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all. And y'all know that I rock for y'all. You know, I cut for y'all. All right? Oh, here it is. Hmm. Yeah, keep your head up, baby. Keep your bread up. Keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up. All right? <laughs> okay, my dog's like, okay. All right, I'm your girl, A. Nicole. Um, I will leave all of my information below with how to connect with me off of here. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. Fifth chakra, use that throat chakra, baby. Speak up for yourself, baby. Don't, don't let that throat chakra put you, you know, or you not using your throat chakra put you in a fucked up situation. Okay, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.